would like to give a special thanks to Five Below for the free products. What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fab some besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector and toy enthusiast. Welcome to my miniverse. Today, we're gonna take a little crafting break and go to Five Below. I picked up a few things. I have a weakness for mini plants. This was $5.55 for three. They are all slightly different. They could be a large house plant or on a deck or patio. Here it is next to a doll. So they're a pretty decent size. There are briar horses for $5. If you want to get into briars, this could be a low cost introduction. There were four horses to choose from. The box looks like a fence, so there can be some crafting possibilities there. Yeah, just keep the shot above the logo and it works. This horse has a sculpted mane and tail. The mane's flexible, so are the ears and the tail. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to do this, but I can turn the tail a little bit and it stays, which could be a lot of fun for photos. It's a little small to be a horse in our one six scale world. We could probably get away with pretending it's a pony. For Chelsea, here's a Stitch collectible minifigure. This is a surprise toy, so you don't know what you're gonna get. It is series one, and I did notice there are numbers on the bottom. Did I check to see if there's a code? No, I didn't, but if there is, this is 271. Whenever I open these, I'm always hoping that they can be used as dolls for dolls. The container looks like Stitch. That's kind of cool. Inside, we have a collector's guide showing us all the different figures. We can get Angel, Lilo, and Scrump. I really want Scrump. Here's the figure, and we have Hero Stitch. Okay, I wrote it down just in case there is a code. We could totally make this Chelsea and Stitch. Who's up for experimental alien pets? Or we can pretend it's a plushie. Here are real mini plushies, Squishville by Squishmallows. There are two figures inside and they have fashion. I paid $5 for this. These are a great size to be Squishmallows for our dolls. And it really does have clothes. This one has a little hoodie. And can we take it out? We can! This is gonna look so cute in my doll's room. Here's the second one. It has a little dress and we can remove it. Then place it on the other one. Wow, this is really fashion for plushies. <gasps> This is pretty much Build-A-Bear for our dolls. Of course we had to try it out, but it totally doesn't fit. It was too loose in the back, but it could totally make like a really cute little bathing suit look. Oh, but you might see me rocking this on the slopes, just saying. Now that I've changed my doll bedding again, I'm looking for the perfect Squishmallow to go on it. So this is one of the individual packs and Hmm, great could work. It's a little dog. Yeah, and it doesn't look too bad because we have some gray right here. Lost Kitties Series 2. I haven't seen these in a minute. They are cat figures doing pretty random things. They come in a shaping compound, kind of like Play-Doh, and we have to dig through it to get the kitty who is sealed safely in a bag. Wow. And there are some accessories as well. Not a bad size for a Chelsea doll. Can she hold it? No. And our lost kitty is Olga. It's a cat in a bowl. Now that is super cute and could make some fun photos. If you're cool with cartoony pets. And there's a sticker. This compound, when left out, does dry. So we can roll small pieces, make several, and place them into a pet bowl to be dog or cat food. Speaking of food, I can still find Totally Tiny at five below. This is the movie time set. 
with a bucket and popcorn. Looks like chicken strips and dip, a bar of chocolate, a drink, gummy bears, and two pretzels. And it's all doll sized. I picked up LOL Surprise Tiny Toys Series 1 with five surprises and 15 figures to collect. And if you get enough pieces, you can build the tiny glamper. There's a number on the box, which I believe lets you know which piece you're getting. <gasps> I love how this looks like a store display. Let's carefully open the box so we can add this packaging to our mini Target. There is a box within the box. I can never do these little zipper things. So here we go. Yeah, that's effective. We have a little cube inside. The top is removable. Love this. Have I never opened one of these before? There's a little scene in the back. These little cubes can be combined to make a cube shelf and a display. All surprise toys should have packaging like this. Just saying. The collector's guide looks like a tiny book. I have two packages. One is a piece of the glamper and the other is a mini robot figure with a removable wig and we can store it in the little cube. Shopkins had something kind of similar back in the day and I loved it. For all you Miraculous fans out there, here is the Miracle Box Kwame Surprise. On top, it says Chase Glitter Figures. So I'm guessing you can get one of these Kwamis or the glitter ones. Depending on the size, we could pretend like this is our doll's Kwame. And we get to see which one our doll will get. Let's open it. And I have Shoe Poo. Meh. I might try again for a different one later. Like this one, because it's really cute. We can find mini brands at Five Below for $5. This is Series 4. There are three minis included. And we still get the opportunity of finding an ultra rare Frozen Moment mini. Let's do the math. Depending on where you go, we can get a mini brands capsule for about $7.49 with five minis inside. That's about $1.50 per mini. Here, we're getting three minis at $5, so that's about $1.66 per mini, giving us about a 16 cents difference per mini. And today, we have a box of flavor ice, a bag of jelly beans, which I don't think I've gotten before. A spray bottle of OxyClean, which I love. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with the cleaning supplies. And we still get money. Yeah. And when did we get these? Office supplies? I never noticed these before. We are so opening another one. To be honest, I don't really miss the capsules all that much. <laughs> oh, but you can still end up with the shelves. Mm, I got more candy, or a gel, and money. Hello Kitty minifigures series two. Five dollars a box. The packaging can totally be used as posters for a doll room. Two different ones on the sides and one on the top. There are 10 figures to collect. One is rare and there might be a code system y'all. I am now overly concerned that I am missing codes, so I'm writing down everything. This box is one, two, one. We carefully open it just in case we want to make those posters. There's a bag inside and the figure is cutie. Aw, she is cute. These can totally be toys for dolls, like a plush for a Chelsea doll or any Hello Kitty fan. We can carefully cut the packaging to get those dollhouse posters. The next one is 118. I made sure all the numbers were different when I was in the store. And we have Hipster 133 is Unicorn. It's super cute and has a tail and everything. Number 147 is a little gamer, Otaku. Hope I'm saying that right. 
I also found this, which is a four pack of minifigures for $5. Those were $5 each. Here we can see what we're getting and it's not a bad price. This one is similar to the rare figure, just painted differently. This figure is just like Cherry. This one is like Donut. And this one is similar to Unicorn. Twins, can we recycle the box even more? We could cut the pictures out on the back, glue them onto more packaging, cut them out to make little collector cards. I found some dolls called Zoe. They have fabric fashion, come with accessories, and they are articulated with movement at the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, hip, and knee. The joints feel pretty decent, and these two are strong enough to hold the weight of a Hello Kitty figure. Compared to a Chelsea doll, they are close to the same size. The Five Below doll is a little taller. One doll came with a bike, the wheels can spin, the pedal can turn the back wheel, the little chain is a rubber band, and pretty nice painted details. And the other doll came with two skateboards. This one is pretty cool. There's a little flexibility in the center. The wheels can turn. That's pretty neat. Her shirt and shorts are one piece and Velcro in the back. This doll has removable shoes. Her feet are a little smaller than a Chelsea doll. However, a Chelsea doll can fit their shoes, which makes me think that a Zoe doll can fit Chelsea shoes. The other doll comes with a sleeveless top, longer pants that are cut at the bottom, and a shirt tied around the waist. The shirt is removable and the doll can wear it. Okay, I gotta know if a Chelsea head swap is possible. We just have to find some dolls with a similar skin tone. This classic Chelsea is a little too tan, but this brown-eyed Chelsea might work. I wanted to make one a boy and the clothes fit. And while it's not a perfect match, I still wanna see how it looks. I place the dolls in a plastic bag, then warm them in hot water, softening the head so it can easily be removed. Place the new head on the body and it worked. The color match isn't perfect, but it's not bad. We're getting an articulated Chelsea doll that's about the same size. And with the wrist, we're getting more articulation than a Barbie Extra Mini. Let's swap the other doll. This match is actually kind of perfect. Well, almost, but she can fit Chelsea's clothes. Not bad for $5. And we found Barbies for $5. With fabric fashion that slips over the doll, they come with sandals and the basic five points of articulation. We have rotation at the neck, the arm can go out to the side, forward and back, and there is some rotation at the hip. I love her face. However, her skin tone has a nice amount of red in it and it might be difficult to match. This is the yellow top made to move Barbie body, blue yoga, and the soccer player. Here's the blue yoga again. I don't know. I went with the soccer player and it's not too bad. I think we found a lot of fun things today that we can use in the dollhouse. Finding articulated bodies for Chelsea dolls are definitely one of my faves. Let us know in the comments down below if anything caught your eye. Thank you for joining us while we checked out some stuff from Five Below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!